Good morning. I just want to start with the reading of the word and then we'll get into it. This is Acts chapter 5 and we're starting at verse 1. But a certain man named Ananias, with Sapphira, his wife, sold a possession and kept back part of the price, his wife also being privy to it, and bought a certain part and laid it at the apostles' feet. But Peter said, Ananias, why hath Satan filled thine heart to lie to the Holy Ghost and to keep back part of the price of the land? Whilst it remained, was it not thine own? And after it was sold, was it not in thine own power? Why hast thou conceived this thing in thine heart? Thou hast not lied unto men, but unto God. And now we're at verse 5. We're going down a little further. And Ananias, hearing these words, fell down and gave up the ghost. And great fear came on all them that heard these things. I'm going to stop there. Today we're just talking about uh, the young lady, Lois Vogel Sharp. And here's her picture. Yeah, you might see it better there. And she, I've uh, listened to several of her videos. And the thing that has come to my mind, um, actually... It's been, I perceived in my heart, heard from the Lord, that she is defrauding his people. So that's the only reason I'm here today, is just kind of talk to you regarding what does that mean, she's defrauding God's people. What she continuously does is ask for financial blessings so that she can start a safe haven. That's fine, but the concern is that that's not going to be done. It's not going to be done properly, if at all. And there's nothing you can do about it because it can look, it's just going to look like a deduction. And she's continually saying things uh, that are incorrect in the Bible. I, verses I just read from Acts 5, 1, she said, oh, they were embarrassed. No, they intentionally deceived and lied to the Holy Spirit. And that is the reason why they drop dead eventually his wife is going to drop dead but he he drops dead the husband does first it wasn't they weren't embarrassed they unfortunately lied to the holy spirit it's a sad time in the world we're living in there are a lot of concerns there's concerns uh, with terrorism uh, famines uh, the crops did not come in properly for the united states that is well known there's a lot of other uh, concerns. People are concerned with church doctrine and, and the body of Christ. But I'm here to tell you the body of Christ is alive and strong because Christ whoo, is alive and strong today. He died on the cross for our sins. And I'm so excited to say that. And by we are washed clean with his blood. And by his, and by his stripes we're even healed. When he died on the cross, he took it all. He took every curse. He took it all, Christ did. Everything that man had sinned and gotten into, Christ took upon himself. He received our sin today. So that's what I'm excited to talk about. Uh, but as, a, as people of Christ, and the, in the body of Christ, God doesn't want us taking from each other things that, God, that the Holy Spirit has called you to use for your own family. If you need food, and you believe the Holy Spirit is putting in your heart, there's a famine, it's even on TV, then you use that money for yourself, your local church, people that you trust, and people that you know. It, it, just, it, it burdens my heart to hear her go on and on and then bash people in the head. You're not listening. You're not listening to me. You need to listen to me. And then you'll be caught with nothing. You'll be left with nothing. That was one of her last videos. That you would be left with nothing. Woo! I got a great verse I want to read to you. My, it was, I love it. It's on a dog tag. Can you see it? And it was on my uh, daughter's old backpack. I call them book bags, but backpack her little mochila okay and this is what it is and i love it it's joshua 1 9 so don't you ever think that you are ever going to be alone once you've accepted christ jesus as your lord and savior be strong and courageous do not be afraid do not be discouraged for the lord your god will be with you wherever you go wherever you go no matter what you think you might be facing in the future god is with you 
and God loves you. The safe havens that she's talking about, they're, they're not really real. I believe that God is going to, in the end times, have safe areas for his people. I believe there's going to be housing for them. People will be in different homes and, and things. That's that's the what I've been shown. And he's got places for you. But arbitrarily sending money because you're in fear that this that this is a really safe area and the United States is going to be safe forever is is not of the Lord. She's got video after video of begging for money for her to put in her own safe haven. But what about you? What about you and the food that you send over there? That could be for your family and your loved ones, your neighbors. Your neighbors are your loved ones because how many times have we had to go to our neighbors and, and get help? I remember not too long ago, my toilet was clogged and I didn't have a plunger. And I want to thank the Lord. I had neighbors that brought a plunger that helped clean up the mess. I didn't even have to touch it. It was it was really God's hand. He gave me favor. And I bet you're right. I'm not betting, but I know you're in the right place at the right time because the Holy Spirit is in you. And he'll guide you as to if you need to move, if you need to do different things, get closer to your neighbors because they're close. <laughs> so think about what God is called, what God is doing in your life. Not so much of being fearful that there needs to be a safe haven, but spending time with the Lord, getting to know him in his word. It's a wonderful, it's wonderful to be able to read the, the old fashioned Bible. I've got it on my phone too. <laughs> but get to know Christ. Get to know him. And if you don't know him, it now is the best time as ever. If you don't know Christ or you're just a little you're worried about your future, you're worried. Let's just pray. Lord, in the name of Jesus. You said, whosoever calleth on your name will be saved. And I pray for those that are listening that they will call upon your name and receive the full filling of the Holy Spirit. And that you guide, protect, love, and care for your new children and the ones that are seasoned and the ones that are babies. But your full body be blessed by your holiness, love, and concern. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Have a beautiful, blessed day. And remember that God is with you. Thank you.